There are about 8.5 million Akia abandoned homes in Japan, and that number is steadily rising. My husband Evan and I bought an abandoned house listed for $7,500, restored it, and turned it into Benton Guest House, a private Airbnb rental that now brings in steady income. We've also started a small farm with honeybee colonies and local produce. This move has allowed us to build a more self-sufficient life in the Japanese countryside, and it's been our best decision yet. Hello, I'm Evan. And I'm Danny. We moved to Japan in February of 2023. We couldn't afford doing something at the scale we wanted in the U.S., so we decided to dream big and open our options to other countries. I speak Spanish and Japanese, so we narrowed it down to Mexico and Japan. During our research on locations, we fell in love with Omishima Island. We wanted to live in a rural area with mild winters and a steady flow of tourism. We also wanted to be within an hour of a few major cities. The most important reason we chose this location was to have the option of getting the startup visa, a relatively new option which was designed to help foreigners start businesses in Japan. We sold our place in the U.S. during a time that uh, property values had increased, which is what we had to work with in order to start a business here in Japan. The home that is now Benton Guest House was built in 1953 and had been sitting abandoned for 10 years when we bought it. We purchased the house for $9,000, $7,500 for the property itself and $1,500 in transaction fees. In addition to this, a year after buying the property, there was a 212 one-time real estate acquisition tax and an $80 annual property tax. All told, the renovation, including the rental license, furnishing, and amenities, cost $29,000. You gotta have a bobblehead tiger. When we got the keys, it was structurally sound, but needed a lot of cleaning and restoration to make it inviting once again. We did much of the renovation work ourselves to help keep costs low, but also hired some local contractors for their expertise. The house is built in the traditional Japanese style with massive wooden beams, interlocking joinery, tile roofs, sliding screen doors, and tatami mat flooring. Here we are in Benton Guest House. We opened our doors to travelers just under a year ago and maintain a near five-star rating. So this counts as the outside world in a Japanese house, so we're gonna take off our shoes here. The nightly rate for our Airbnb fluctuates throughout the year, but the base price is 20,000 yen, or about $135. And stepping up into the house, we're going to switch into slippers. We wanted our guests to feel like they were walking into a Japanese grandmother's house. All right, and this first room, was originally to Tommy floors, so we put in hardwood so that we could have a nice transition from the inside into the kitchen there for guests to roll their bags. Um, kitchen here got fresh coat of paint on the wall and the ceiling, and then all new furnishings. From the kitchen window here, you can see our tomato and tomatillo garden. We also have some marigolds blooming. So this is the bathroom, which is functional, but this is one of the things that we plan to close down the guest house and do further remodeling this winter. So far we have generated approximately $14,000 from the Airbnb. Let's take off our slippers as we step into the tatami room. This TV was in the house and it works. We even sourced a Nintendo Famicom system from the 1980s. This is real popular with our guests. This is one of the other sleeping rooms. So this room has the shoji screens, which are made of wood and washi paper. 
So this is our Western style bedroom. And then here we have a little step down to the bed. So the ceiling's pretty low, but it's cozy. The staircase is a little steep. Second floor bedroom is really the crown jewel of the house. This is the only room on the second floor, and I think it's both of our favorite room of the house. I really love the colors and the lighting in here. It's just a beautiful space. Cyclists travel from all over the world to ride their bikes across the beautiful white bridges from Hiroshima Prefecture in the north to Ehime Prefecture in the south. Over half of our bookings are cyclist groups, but we also have some smaller groups, couples and solo travelers. The guest house was the first aspect of our business that we put all of our energy into, as it's a clear way to demonstrate financial stability to immigration. All the while, we have been building our small farm. We also sell tomatoes, tomatillos, and various hot peppers at local farmers markets. The long-term plan for Benton Homestead is to make hot sauce and salsa in addition to our honey. The community has been overwhelmingly welcoming. The second house we purchased just around the corner is where we call home. <sighs> what are we going to do with this place? <laughs> this large former inn sat uninhabited for a staggering 40 years. It needs much more work to be fully restored to its former beauty, but we see the potential. At the time of purchase, the price was 18,500 US dollars and included two additional plots of unmaintained land, which we're working to rehabilitate. Our rescue cat, Pongkan, and our street puppy, Bosco, keep us company, but we also hope to start a family. As we continue to settle into our life in rural Japan, we'll take our time renovating this second house. Omishima felt like home from the moment we arrived. On our budget, it wouldn't have been possible to do this in the United States. Two foreigners opening a small business in Japan is pretty rare, but more and more people are considering this option. Japan has announced some upcoming changes to the startup visa requirements to entice even more foreigners to apply. At this point, we couldn't imagine living anywhere else. <laughs> 